Hello and welcome back to Retro Phone Show and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Doro Andal Plus 324 for GSM so what are we waiting for? Here we go! And here we are, we have the Doro Andal Plus 324 GSM. I will be showing you how to store the telephone numbers on the phone. I'll be showing you the ringtones and uh, I'll <laughs> show you the charger in the, the phone in the inside the charging cradle as well. So. First of all, let's have a look at the box. Here's the one side. Here's the other side. Here's the other side. And here's the back. So let's open them up now and have a look. Right, so first of all, we have the phone. I have a strap, original strap, I have a charger, and then we're going to either use this charger and just stick this directly into the phone, or you can use the, the charging dock, this charger goes in there, I'll show that in a bit. How it goes in there. Now I've got two batteries with this phone, and the reason why I got two batteries is before I had this one, this phone, before I had this one, I had this one, but I had no manual or nothing with, with this one. But basically, the things I'd be showing you to do today on this phone is exactly the same on this phone. So, so if you've got this one, it will work exactly the same as I show you on this one. So it's, it's basically the same hardware and software, just different colour and a different name logo. So yeah, and just to, to show you that bit. Right, like I said, I'll show you the ringtones and I will, right, let me just to tell you how to store the numbers in. There's no way you, you can store the numbers by using the settings on this phone. So what you've got to do is you have to take a SIM card and stick it into your smartphone or a phone whatever you're using before and then you store the numbers onto you but what you have to do when you put the name down you got to put number one and then the name straight after no gap so just one and then the name you know one a sentence no gap it's the same with number two you put number two down and then then the name and then the same with three four and five so you just put number one then the name no gap and obviously you, you put a number underneath you store them on the, the sim card then and then you plump the SIM card back in here. And then you just press number one and then dial. I'll show you all. We're working in a minute. So you should press one and then ring out. And then we'll ring. And the same with two ring or whatever you want, number you want. So, 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 so there's that bit. Right then, let's show you how to put the SIM card in. So what you do, slot, slot that down in there, push that bit down, and then you will have to slide that metal bit up, and then you just pop the battery in there, 
Ja. Right. I'm going to show you how to turn them on. So if you hold the red hang up key for a couple of seconds, give you that noise, and then it's on. Then you'll have to wait until this light here goes off, and it'll start the flash then. Then you know it's all ready to go. Just just show you the manual as well. Here's the manual. Just in case I missed that out. See what? It's off the look. It'll flash now every couple of seconds it'll flash. The blue I think it is. There you are. So there you are. That's all up and running now, that's ready to go. So like I said, just a reminder, you you cannot store the number on using this phone. You have to take the SIM card out and put it into a, a smartphone or whatever phone you're using. Uh, store the the name, but, but before you put the name, you put the, num the number one with no gaps, you just one and then the name all in one a sentence. And then you put the number underneath and there you are, then you have it. Right, so, Show you this. I'll show you the ringtones now in a minute. And um, show it ringing and ringing out as well. So you are. That's in the charging cradle. Press that button and it'll pop back out. Right, so I'll show you the ringtones now. How how to do the ringtones, you could press the volume key up. The first one you come to, that's the ringtone you're, you're actually using. You go up again, just keep on pressing up. I'll show you how to store the ringtone now in a minute. And there we are, we put the back to where we started from. So then you just press the green button here, whatever one you want. Just if you're on this one and you want this one, you just press the green ring key and I will store your your um your ringtones as easy as that. There you are. But I've got the um a SIM card in, in here, which you just saw me put, put in there. And I've got uh, one a number stored on me, which will ring this one here. And I've just stored the one on, which is on number one. So what you do, let's put the phone in so you can just, just see it ring. So what you do, you press number one, or whatever number you want, and then ring and give it a couple of seconds and it'll start ringing here we are press hang up now here we are 
Now I will show you this one ringing. So let me just. Uh, this up uh, yeah I should ring now in a minute Here we are. That's ringing. and to answer then you just obviously you press the green one there to answer or if you don't want to answer it, you just press the red one here just to cut the phone off. And there you are. That is how to use the, the Doro Angel Plus 324 GSM. So if we didn't know how to use it, you do now. And like I said, if you've got this one here, which is the Easy 5, is is basically exactly exactly the same procedure. So just to remind you, to store a number in, you take the SIM card and put it into your old phone. You uh, you go into the contacts and you put like number one and then the name. In one long sentence, and then it's the same with two, three, four, five, and then obviously you store the contact. Then you take the SIM card of, of your old phone and plump him in here, and he he should be good to go. So yeah, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back very soon with another video. But until then. Bye!